Right, so um, let's see, let's tune together LQR, Linear Quadratic Regulator, um, for, for a system in MATLAB. So I am considering in this uh, simulation, I am going to take two seconds as the total simulation time. This is the implementation uh, discretization for first order error method. I am looking at x dot equals to ax plus bu type of a system. I am going to consider the state x is measurable for feedback purposes. Here is the output of this system. I want this output to follow a command. Here x is the angle and uh, first state x1 is the angle, second state angle rate. Uh, originally this is in radians, this is in radians per second. And control input is the voltage that um, and its limits are between plus 5 minus 5 volts. So this is from a um, concert system that we have in the lab, uh, Servo 2, and this is the actual AB matrices that we identified in experiments. And here is the output that we would like to track. Uh, note that here I am choosing initial condition to be zero and here is the initial condition for output. I am going to consider integral approach when designing a state feedback controller u equals to k1x k2z or we can group them like this or if you call this k we have minus k multiplied by the state of the system and the integrator state and here is the integrator z dot equals to y minus c. So where does it come from? It is coming from here in my video. If you go to my channel, control, state and output feedback control linear systems. I am explaining this if you directly go to uh, time 9 uh, minutes 42 seconds around that I am explaining for this type of system state feedback x is measurable I would like to track y I, I want the output of the system to track the command c I am using this um, integral approach z is the y minus z or z dot y minus c or z is the integral of y minus c and I am explaining there you need to find a bar a0, C0, B bar, and this K matrix that I just showed you. If A bar, B bar controllable, then I am saying use to find the gain K to stabilize this system through LQR command A bar, B bar, some Q bar, and R bar. I am not going to discuss much details about this video. I would encourage you to go and watch on learning how you can use this integral uh, controller in for command following purposes but here is the command final uh, controller that i am going to implement u equals to minus k x z z that equals to output of the system minus the command and i am going to focus on lqr approach on selecting q bar and r bar matrices how it affects the system performance all right so I showed you where this comes from, this controller. A bar is here from that video, B bar is here. I am going to tune Q bar and R bar. And here is the K that is also coming from that video. I am also choosing initial condition from the, for the integrator to be zero. And let me show you a little bit the simulation environment uh, with this uh, periodic time from zero to two seconds um, running the simulation. When time less than one second, I am applying pi as the command, which is 180 degrees. If time is greater than one, I am applying minus pi, which is in degrees minus 180 degrees. Here is the discretized control integrator state, z equals to z plus. The new value of the z is the old value of the z plus dt, y minus c. This is coming from first order error method of, method of integration. Here is the control signal. And there is nothing done here about this system. Here is the actual system. Um, x equals to, basically this is x. That equals to x plus bu. It's discretized version. 
y equals to c x. For data recording purposes, I am storing c, z, x, u, control signal at the time. I am recording uh, at each index and then uh, when I go to the next for loop, <clears throat> I am updating the index. For plotting purposes, uh, you can look at here. Let me enlarge this a little bit more. So this is how we plot figures. You can stop the video to learn, but it is basically standard plotting process. So let's focus on LKR tuning. And my objective, let, let's first run this controller when Q bar is 111. So as I described on the LKR video, basically uh, before watching this video, you can also watch in addition to state and output feedback, the, uh, where was that? It, at the time of recording this video, it is not published, but it will be published when you see it. So let's go to content. So this video I am referring to, control, optimal linear quadratic control. Basically, watch this. Um, I am going to schedule this video to be posted on April 12th. So uh, this opt optimal uh, LKR video will be available before that. Okay. All right, so let's run this. Then we discuss some performance metrics. All right, this is the response of the state or output as well, since C is one. So this is the motor angle and it doesn't track the comment at all. This is the velocity or angular, uh, uh, basically, um, angular rate. And um, this is the integrator state and this is the control input in voltage, which is uh, minus 0.5 to 0.5. Um, here, basically for control signal, we shouldn't exceed plus minus five volts. We are sufficiently away from the, those limits as of this first implementation. And so this, this servo motor system is a fairly fast system. So I will try to tune to achieve, you know, a convergence time. You know, we should be able to follow this command around between 0.2 to 0.4 seconds. And so that should be the control objective. And without you exceeding its limits plus minus five volts. Now, if I increase these states, I will penalize X1 and X2 more towards zero. So I don't want to do that for the sake of this integral approach. And we know if we increase the integrator gains, the third state here is this integrator state. X1, X2 is two by one. This is one by one. So if we increase this, we are penalizing the integrator state, which is a good thing. If we do that, we are going to make this uh, output to conversion to comment faster. If we exceed control limits, we can increase it. If we would like to achieve faster response, we can decrease it. Again, the effect of QNR on the tuning uh, performance is explained on this uh, optimal linear quadratic control video on my channel. So to make the long story short, uh, by the way, before I start this, I, I want to start it, but before I move forward, I also would like to decrease this a little bit because think about it physically, if X1 position, I mean angle approaches to this command, its velocity will be automatically stay constant or its angle rate. So um, we should also think this a little bit physically. So I would like to set this to a minimum for now. Let's see what happens if we run. All right, we achieve slightly better performance. Nothing much change. I, will, I, I am thinking to keep this as one um, and increasing this. Let's increase this to 10. We should be able to achieve a better performance. Indeed, we achieved a better performance. Um, control signal, the third one uh, is within acceptable limits. Let's increase the 100. Um, and at some point to distinguish plots, I'm going to use a different color. Let's try 100. All right, that's going good. We achieved uh, a convergence around 0.4 seconds. 
I would like to improve it a bit more, maybe around here, 0 0.2, 0 0.23, 0 0.24. We are still between acceptable control limit ranges. So let's try to use a more aggressive control signal. So I will reduce it to penalize the control less so that we can use more control energy to do better control. For example, let's try 0.1. We improve the performance a little bit more. Let's decrease the control since we are within the limits. 0.01. Slightly more improvement. We are still at the limits. Actually, we are at minus three. Um, control is you know limited at minus five. We should be careful. Maybe we may decrease this a little bit more. But there is a room for improvement. We are still away from this objective that you see here. Let's try 300 here. Okay, we are getting there. We are also about to hit the control limit. Um, let's try 500. Perfect. So we are on our objective but we exceed the control limit here at this point i am closing this figure and i am opening new figure i am going to put it there just it is cleaner this is the last figure that i generated that we exceed control limit okay let it stay that so now i will decrease this a little bit further now i'm sorry not decrease increasing to penalize the control so that we could use smaller control signals. Perfect. I think I need to make it 0.1. This point, let me zoom to this point. I cannot exit um, basically five, minus five. I need to decrease it a little bit more, maybe 0.5. Okay, perfect, we are here. So let's use a different color to highlight the final performance, maybe blue, blue, blue. By the way, I forgot to mention, probably I re realized, actual X1 and X2 are basically in radians, radians per second. I am just converting them to degrees and degrees per second for plotting purposes so that we can better visualize. And this red dotted line is the comment that I applied. So let's use different color. Blue is the final uh, plot that I am happy with. Basically, we around 0 0.22, 0 0.24 seconds, we um, track this command pretty well in a fast fashion because this is a fast system. This is how X2 behaves. This is the integrator state. And you saw that if we increase that value, we penalize the integrator state and control signal is within the acceptable range so basically if you increase this you achieve you control the system with less control signal or less control energy or if you decrease it control signal becomes more aggressive and if you increase these numbers each corresponding state uh, will um, approach to zero faster since we are following constant command following problem i didn't want to touch these more and to summarize, I made it small because I know if when this approach to constant, its velocity will be approached to zero, just physically, sorry. I mean, if this angle approach to constant, its angle rate will be zero. So I try to penalize this, the integrator state to do comment following. So this is how I tuned LQR for this um, DC motor servo system. And I hope this video is helpful and if you want me to post more videos like this, let me know.